Hello there, yeah, just come from the Testeville of Rügen, the lovely island in uh, eastern Germany. The Testeville happened in uh, Wieg and Dranske. Uh, Wieg is my, kind of my favorite spot. I do like some other kitesurf spots, but Wieg is awesome. Um, and Dranske is okayish for easterly winds. Yeah, we don't have such a large amount of east wind spots in Germany, which are nice, but this one is okayish. Okay, kicking things off at day one. Uh, we had almost no wind. It changed direction and died completely. Sorry, fly surfer, to bring back a wet kite. And I tried a fly surfer sole in 18 and 15 and it was amazing like it shoot me up seven meters high and um, hang time was incredible the loops were a special thing so i didn't do any dark slides or anything i was just scared by by the loop but looping transitions wow that yeah i i need to buy some something like this for light wind or something else which will come at day Four, which should not be happened, but it did. Um, yeah, day two, nothing. Day three, kicking things off with a Harlem 15. And yeah, thanks Mr. Hello for that lovely uh, selfie. Um, the Thrive, the Harlem Thrive 15 is is kind of beast for, for that size. So I, I, wind picked up, I completely depowered it and completely depowered I was able to sand it and to backhand it, uh, land loop it and wow wow what a kite um, I didn't expect that from a 15 so second kite of day three the core pace pro what a beast I had total trust in the loops I it was my second day to do powered kite loops in like five to six meters. I don't know uh, which jump was the loop because I don't have a watch, but I could really trust that loop. I did only land one with a butt check, so not really a proper one, but it was not my kite. And yeah, it impressive thing was it. To the the distance it was 60 meters which is uh, for not a pulley kite which is not yanking so hard or yanking very consistent that that's far and yeah really that was my favorite kite of of that day next uh, ozone vortex I was overpowered with 11 but uh, yeah, it was the highest jump of the day, 8.1 meters, and um, it, I, I spent 7 seconds in the air, so that was a lot, and I really liked it. I think I could have looped it in a smaller size, I was intimidated, and I I used all my guts on the Pace Pro, to, to be honest. Um, and also with next kite the Harlem Thrive uh, in nine I could have looped it probably but yeah still the the pace gave me uh, the the most trust of it I um, in, in in looping it um, yeah but the okay it, it was on place two together with the next one um, in height and that's a beast. I I mean, you you get a D lab performance for an SLS price price point, as uh, Ralph always says it, and um, yeah, it's it's true. It flies like an Evo, awesome kite. Um, you should buy it. You should buy all of them. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Um, next thing, the Awa uh, Panther. I need to explain. Awa is a young company of Berlin and. Uh, they they have a lot of ethics in mind and they are producing in the same factory as Core and North are and they produce a really good kite for a very fair price point. Um, 
I have in mind something like third less than the other brands or the big brands. And yeah, it's a normal kite without Alua or extra light weight, but it is a beast. It's um, I would compare the Panther a little bit to the XR. So it, ha it has the same double pulley system. And I think it yanked. I, I only did sand jumps, but I did the biggest sand of the day. And I think that yank was uh, caused by the pulley system. And yeah, it's uh, it was 60 po uh, 62 meters. And also I had the second highest jump together with the Harlem Thrive in nine. And yeah, that was awesome. Um, totally nice guys and unfortunately this happened to them with one of their kites um i don't know the circumstances yeah but um local brand from berlin you you should check them out the elevate rs to be fair i want to blame myself I had a hard time to get used to that kite. It's a special thing. So I didn't got very high and it took me some time to jump with it. I did had some nice sliding tricks. And to be fair, the, the wind also dropped. So I went only 5.6 meters high and yeah. It's a nice kite, I guess. I think I would have need a lot more time on it. And if I wasn't destroyed totally for the day, I took my own orbit in nine and yeah, to feel bad about my kite and I didn't. I, I really like the 2023 orbit and I did uh, kite loops first time in the chop and it felt really familiar. It turned fast for a five strutter without any alula or anything. Yeah, I, I liked it. But also the wind dropped a little bit. I jumped in the gusts and it was like 6.4 meters high. So yeah, that's it for day three. So in total, I spent almost 20 minutes in the air, which is awesome and went uh, like almost a kilometer of total, total height and 122 kilometers and yeah it destroyed me and it shouldn't happen but there was day four nobody was there anymore wind dropped over the day I took my own kites first and then I thought ah, I don't want to ride my, my, my stuff it's not made for that condition and I tried a Harlem Thrive in 17 and wow what that's a light wind recommendation i could do everything i even could send it and loop it with the backhand in that light wind so i went up 5.8 meters and had an airtime of 6.9 seconds uh, which is awesome and wow wow you I didn't expect the 17 to, to be that uh, that fast in steering. I, I mean fast. But you should try it and uh, consider that if you want to buy a light wind kite. I'm not sure if I should buy a used sole or that. Let's see. So thanks a lot to Rügen Piraten and Fly a Kite for that awesome event and see you next time. Peace.